If you're curious about betting on baseball but don't know how to get started, I've got good news. I'm here to help. So let's dig into some baseball betting basics. First up is money line betting, which is as basic as it gets because you're simply betting on who's going to win the game. Each team will offer a different payout based on who the underdog is and who the favorite is. The favorite will be indicated by a minus sign, whereas the underdog will be indicated by a plus sign. So for an example here, if the Dodgers are hosting the Giants, LA would come in as a minus 145 favorite with the Giants coming back as a plus 130 underdog. If the Dodgers go on to win and you place $100 on them to win, they'd return a profit of right around $69. Whereas if you place that same $100 on the Giants and they went on to win, they would return a profit of around 130 bucks. Keep in mind, there's always more risk involved with betting on the underdog, so they will always return a higher profit. Another way to bet on an MLB game is the run line, which is baseball's version of a spread. Run line betting involves a one and a half run spread where the favorite must win by at least two runs to win the bet. While the underdog can lose by one run or win outright to cover their side of the run line bet. Betters often try to get a better payout by wagering on the run line when the money line for a game is too high. So, for example, the Astros might be minus 200 on the money line in a game versus the Angels. But if you take them on the minus one and a half run line, they would come in at minus 110. But keep in mind, they must win by at least two runs to cover the run line. If you're not interested in picking a winner or a loser, you can bet on the total, otherwise known as over-under betting. This is when the better will wager on if the total combined runs scored by each team will go over or under a number set by odds makers. So, for example, a game between the Cubs and Yankees might have a set total of 10 and a half runs. If the Cubs go on to win that game 6-4 to four for a total of 10 runs, it would mean that it went under the total of 10 and a half runs set by the odds maker. Other popular bet types you can place on a baseball game are if a specific player will hit a home run, the number of strikeouts a starting pitcher will have, whether or not a run will be scored in the first inning, and who will be leading at the end of five innings. Now, there's a lot to consider before placing your bets. You should be doing some research here. See what type of form the starting pitchers are in. See how they perform on the road as opposed to At home, take a look at the offenses. How do they do versus right-handed pitching? How do they do versus left-handed pitching? Some teams perform drastically different in day games compared to night games. And make sure you're looking at those bullpens too. The bottom line is, guys, make sure you're doing a little bit of research here. You might find yourself a nice little edge going into a baseball game. So that is it for my baseball betting basics tutorial. So make sure you head on over to VegasInsider.com for all the information you need to place a bet today. Good luck out there.